It's, now, it's again time for our uh, two-minute uh, daily devotion, uh, Bible reading, and thought. I'm going to read from uh, Job, the 28th chapter, the 18th verse. Coral and quartz are not worth mentioning. The price of wisdom is beyond pearls. Now we have these uh, oysters out there in the ocean. And if you take an oyster out of the shell, it's not the most beautiful thing to look at, is it? It's kind of gray and yucky looking. But lots of people love oysters. I love oysters. Um, mussels as well, too. But in the oyster, you just might find a pearl contained in that oyster. And we all know how that happens. It gets an irritant inside, and its immune system secretes a substance that starts coating that irritant. If it's a piece of sand or a grain of sand, it puts a coating around it, and another coating, and another coating, and another coating. And the more layers it gets, the deeper the shine, and the stronger the sheen, and the more beautiful the pearl becomes. You go, well, okay, what's that have to do with uh, uh, what the scripture was? Well, the scripture says that there's great treasures that start out perhaps as an irritant. And when I think of that, I think about those people that kind of get under our skin. You know, we find them irritating. They do something to us that, you know, kind of grinds with us, grinds on us. Well, you know, if, if we covered that irritation with prayer, if we covered that irritation with some love, if we covered that irritation with some understanding, if we covered that irritation with patience and grace, they might turn into a great pearl, a pearl of wisdom, a pearl of beauty, only because uh, we took the time uh, to cover it uh, with God's love. And I think if we would think about that, that's a, that's a good way to go about today, isn't it? Or tomorrow morning when we get up. Start thinking about the people that irritate us. Start thinking about covering them with prayer, love, patience, understanding, kindness, and grace. And see what kind of pearls we might find. May God bless us. Amen.